Hello and welcome to Off the Press this morning, uh, where we'll talk about the headlines of the newspaper and try to understand it and, of course, make sense of it. And with me to do so this morning is uh, Mr. Oloje de Balahan, <laughs> public affairs uh, analyst. Uh, good to have you this morning. Good morning. Happy to be here. Welcome. And then we have, of course, Dr. Ido Femi Ido Adeguke. You're looking at me as if I'm going to forget your name. <laughs> no. <laughs> Public affairs analyst also. It's good to have you both this morning. Uh, so we have uh, several, well, four, four or five papers this morning, but we shall begin with the nation. It will be displayed very soon. And from the nation, may now forfeit uh, to... Okay, sorry. We're beginning with the punch instead. Um, the Punch newspaper, it says, Telecom firms fault bank CEOs over USSD charges. That's on page 37, already displayed there. And then we have uh, the main news there is Fresh World Bank loan. Labor attacks federal government over $100 billion uh, withheld by IOCs. Uh, IOCs. That's on page two. It is incredible to imagine that we have this much stolen from us and we are going cap in hand to the World Bank for loans. How can we be washing our hands with saliva by the river bank? That story is on page two, as you can see, uh, displayed there. Lagos traffic offenders sent to 100 day community service. That's on page 26. And there, there's a picture story uh, to that effect. And down part of the paper, it says 7.5 billion naira fraud. Court decides Ojikalu's fate by December the 2nd. That story is on page 13. Corrupt Nigerians opposing NDDC probe says Akpabio on page 25. An exam malpractice. UI hands over more workers. Wow, to DSS. That's on page 13. Now, hoodlums who burnt Ibadan school will be jailed. Uh, or your, that's on page 4. Now, six killed in Lagos communities flawed on pages four and five of uh, the Punch newspaper, and three Nigerians injured in fresh South African xenophobic attacks on page 26. I can't believe we're talking about it again, <laughs> yet again. Well, apparently, it's not. Uh, fully, it's not over it's yet. Not, it's not over yet. And it's not fully dead. And that's quite unfortunate. Quite unfortunate. After the meetings with that's the two presidents. Exactly. Uh, by now, anybody would have expected that. Um, even if part of the fact that it's still very fresh, this, this uh, reconciliation that we had is still very fresh, um, that there wouldn't be anything like that. But it appears as if uh, the wounds are deeper than we think. Mm -hmm. And uh, any superficial uh, healing um, would not, would not work. So there, there's more work to be done, essentially. Uh, we didn't get to that point in a day. Mm -hmm. And he also might not be able to go away. In in a day. Day. So it's, it's, it requires continuous work. Mm. Uh, All right. May now forfeit 23 houses. What does a man need 23 houses for? When there are no investment properties. I'm just saying, let's assume that this is correct. You can have 23 properties if they are investment properties, so uh, they are for money making. You are, you are a real estate investor. Mm -hmm. But this was a civil servant. 23. Uh, so 23 houses for a civil servant. How many of them do you get to sleep in? They're, most of them are probably locked up, and, you know, and since there are no That's taxes... That's usually the case, really. Yeah, and you know, they're not taxed. In, in other part of the world, exactly. you, you get taxed for those kind of things. So yeah. maybe we even offer some... Though in our case, I'm not sure if it would dissuade people hmm. from acquiring them. They would rather just pay the taxes. I'm sure but, some people might be happy to, really. Yeah, it's, it's primitive acquisition. One of the main problems of Africans. Somebody 23 houses? And when you go to his village, you'll be amazed at the poverty you will see hmm. where he came from, if, if, if this is correct. So I, I hope this kind of thing will change with time. Yeah. Yeah. And still on him, may now say 23 to be a property to be forfeited, if, as he said, if it's correct. We, we, it takes us back to that we are not a process system nation. What do I mean by that? I read that he used his dead mother's name, to his late father's him. name, acquire property <laughs> who does that well maybe uh, not to say that it's that's it's maybe it's in honor of them not no, to say it's that's correct. what they said that <laughs> even some um, family members <laughs> he used some family members name to acquire those property so what am i saying is the people who sold the property to him did they not do any check do they need them to be alive yes yes okay you want to sell something to me i'm not seeing you i'm not doing my checks of what you do 
So they can name but it anybody after can them. well name you it after, name after, after them. them. But no using their name to purchase. So a dead it. person, you know that that word is person in the legal terms. Yeah. Mm. So a dead person cannot acquire it, or it, own it's, something. It's an abnormality. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's an anomaly. But they could have presented anybody to be. Or maybe he acquired them. it before they died. I mean, just it's not just a ridiculous law. But, um, but again, when they forfeit this property, what happens? Uh, it goes. It goes into the hand of the state. The state can decide to auction it and or it or convert it to office, whatever. Yeah. Because we but I, I'm worried. I think mm -hmm. I get where you're going mm -hmm. to. Um, these institutions, CFCC or ICPC, they're not created to manage properties. Correct. Yes, and the capacity to manage properties might actually not be there. So a lot of time, those properties are seized, and um, over the years. You may find out that we don't even know what has happened to some of these properties. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's an area that is a bit cloudy that I think the government needs to look at, where we need to dispose of once we're done, because there will be litigations mm. upon all of these things. Well, by the time the litigation is all over and we are in full, clear possession of those properties, then we should be able to have a process that said this is how those things are exited. Mm -hmm. if, if you, even, even if you take organizations like Amcom, they yeah. are holding a whole lot of properties, a whole lot of assets, that you're wondering what exactly is you're going on with here. all these assets. So those ones we need to sell, let's sell them, let's realize the money, and rather than keeping those assets. And they keep depreciating for every day that they are out there mm -hmm. and they are not in use, we're losing money and those assets are depreciating in value. So what's the point in the end? Yeah. All right, okay, so... Um, <laughs> no, there's you something that came to me. Yeah, yeah, I, I really don't want to. I don't want to talk about it, but well, um, Lagos traffic offenders sent to 100 day community service. Is that enough? Would that solve our problem? It's a traffic offense. It's not. Uh, <laughs> but why do we not... have to get to that point, anyways? Lagos has a lot of issues, especially around this time when there are no roads. So the you see all sort of problems. People are passing one way. I, I live in Anthony Village. I came out of Anthony Village this morning only to see trailers lined up. They are going to Oshodi. I've not seen a site like that maybe for like two decades. So while you slept, they were busy. So they're in Anthony now. <laughs> yes. We're heading to so I don't know what happened, but apparently something must have happened at their papa end yeah. that made them have to come all over to that place. Yeah. That kind of a thing is totally disrupted of the traffic system around that area. And when you have things like that, they are bound to be traffic offences. Oh, you're just sorry. You're just yeah, experiencing it. We, we that we I know we had a conversation yesterday. Yeah, <laughs> we that we live in Sule, we've been living with this for the past four, three, four years. But it should. It's not with trailers. Normal. I mean, wake up in the morning and you just see trailers on the road, lined up to get to a papa. There, there's been talks about they're fixing the road in a papa. They're fixing the platform, but it's getting worse because the trailers are now at Antonio, as you said. Mm. Now, very soon, we'll be in Lagos Ibadan Express Road. No, I, I learned mm. they are fixing some part of their papa party. They, they actually they close Anyways, it down. Yeah. So when you close a, a, a side of the road it, yes. down, it's going to uh, it messes up the entire traffic mm. totally. And you know how Lagos is. Even if, if you have a, a bad traffic on one major road, yeah. before one, two hours, the entire the contagion is all over. Yeah. Yeah. I, was, I, was, I was in the traffic on Friday. I was mentioning it yesterday. For from four airport. Hours. To get to Sule, it took me four hours. Mm. And there are all sorts of roadblocks, uh, checkpoints, collecting money, beach, making people go against the, the traffic. traffic. Ordinarily, Which is unfortunate. It, 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 things like mm. that should have been temporary. Mm -hmm. It shouldn't create a situation. It's not a basis for traffic offense. Exactly. But the way it, it, it happens is just that it puts a lot of people under pressure. pressure. And there may not be enough law enforcement. Sometimes even the law enforcement people yeah. complicate matters. Yeah. True. True. All right. Okay. So maybe we'll have to talk about the fresh World Bank loan. Labor attacks federal government over 100 billion uh, withheld by IOC. Any? Uh, you can't start uh, until this money is it's, realized. Okay. Um, there will be ding dong here and there. There might be litigations. There might be arbitration. At the end of the day, we don't even know how much we will eventually get out of mm -hmm. this 100 billion. Um, but all the same, uh, it points to the fact that, because now that we're beginning to realize that the hen has come up to roost, and we know that we don't have money, 
We're just flinging Agbada all over it's the place. It's clear now. It's clear. So we're looking to <laughs> everywhere that we've not clear. looking before to see how much we can bring on the table for, yeah. for us to be able to use. Mm -hmm. And now talking about the money, did, that, did you receive the telecom firm's uh, uh, message, the USSD charges? Well, I, how I did, did you react? Not. To that? You did not. I did not. But, but you oh, see, come so. I did. we, you we, did too. Yeah. This you don't use MTN. It's not new. Mm. We Why? just did not know we were not we were paying before. Yes, that's, it. That, that's <laughs> the same conversation. So as soon as it was empty, we all woke up and like, what? How do you want to do this? I, I think the banks have been collecting it on their behalf, or the bank was sharing. Part of the, their yeah, own they had a percentage with sharing. them. Mm. And they don't now, want that anymore. maybe there are complaints. Yeah. You have gone there to say, well, what are all these things you are putting in my account? In fact, yes, I was Telecoms, come and start collecting your money. Your money yourself, you however way you want to yeah. do it. So it's not as if it's fresh, it. really. Mm. It's not fresh. It's, it's just the style that's changed. <laughs> the style changed. So the collector has changed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we'll move to uh, the Nation newspaper in the interest of time. And it says, again, it's the same thing. Uh, do we have the Nation? Okay, so that's it uh, displayed there. The same story, Mena for Fitz properties. We talked about that. Nigerians attacked in South Africa. Minister uh, MMA terminal ready in December. That's on page uh, seven. Why airport is dirty? Yes, why are airports really so dirty? And then and Bayosa and Kogi 2019, INEC threatens zero vote for ballot box snatching. Uh, Jonathan's Kingsmen join APC, key into Bellos re-election. Bayosa founding fathers support PDP candidate Diri. That's a more you find on page uh, 10 of uh, the Nation newspaper, already displayed there. Now, uh, CBN 15 banks inject 228 billion naira into Amcon, CJN false agencies new law. That's on the front page, but it's continued on page eight uh, there. EFCC six for future of Desiani's uh, man's $73 million uh, property. That story, you can see it also there displayed, but it's continued on page seven. Now, labor set for minimum wage battle with state government. You can see that uh, in front on the front page. And another torture chamber found in Zaria. Three die, or Shumbon victim relieves ordeal. That story is on page seven. PDP lashes APC's criticism of two road interchange uh, a project on page 42. What's about the torture chamber we are seeing? Uh, well, I think one opened the, the floodgate. <sighs> to so many to others. See, to so many. They've always been there. Of course, yeah. this man's leg did not. You see the picture in the front. Yeah. Um, those, those I don't people, want to see it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, those people did not did not get to that stage in one. In year, one day, in yeah, true. Years, you know? So those things have always been there, and it is now that we are beginning to realize the level of. I don't know. This is because these are incarcerations. These That's people what it are is. more or less like in jail. Because they wear chains, they put well, them on yeah. chains. They the are not fed in well. Jail don't, are not chained. You know. They are not but these fed guys are well. Changed. They are not fed well. They are tortured. They are sexually abused. See, some of them have died. Yeah, three. I mean, we have three, died three that in, we in, know in, of in now. This, in this particular case. And I, I hope that the marching order to continue to fish out this kind of uh, 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 houses will continue. We need mm. to bring them all out. The people know these places. They are not hidden. But what is the intention? What is the intention? They say rehabilitation. What form of... <laughs> rehabilitation that makes a man become... I mean, you should have projected this picture for people to uh, <laughs> Yes, I think they'll put it there. But, I mean, it makes it worse. Yes, you want to say something? Yeah, but it, um, like you said, it's been with us for long. And it's taking advantage... It has? Yeah, I, I went to school in the north. I schooled in ABU. And I was there for a year. Uh, for, I was there for like six, eight, six years for a four-year course. So I was there for a long time. And I lived in the community. People have a lot of children that they can't cater for, and they send them out. So people take advantage. No, I was under the, the impression that it's some religious kind of no, setting. No, no, no. Well, it is. It they learn, is. They learn the, the Quran. Yeah, yeah the they're supposed to send, they send them to uh, al Majiri school where mm. they learn the Arabic Macron school. Islam, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. But the truth is, the people themselves, the, uh, the government, are from the local government. There is no care for the a life of an average Nigerian. I, in 1992, when I got to ABU, I saw a four-year-old boy of that age, looking four years old, asking me for any work, that if he could do any work for me. Mm. Mm. He's already that, on his own. On his own at that, at that age. age. And that is... Nobody cares that, how you... That brought tears down my eyes. I'm like, what? Even my younger ones that are in their teens, mm. they cannot go out and say that. 
at that time. So it's been over the years, the decadence has been, the rot. Now it's just gotten full blown now. Imagine these old um, full grown adults being incarcerated. Important you don't know how long really. they've been there. They might have been there for all their Goodness. lives. Anyway, that's, that's scary, but uh, thankfully we are hearing about it now and we hope that something will be done. I hope there is none in Lagos. Yes, because no, I mean, uh, no, a few years ago they <laughs> discovered some between Lagos and uh, Ugu State, uh, like a baby making factory where people are incarcerated. Oh, yeah, yeah, baby yes, baby the baby so, factory. Uh, yes, no, yes, I'm more worried know about, about <laughs> this. <laughs> and <laughs> guess what? This one's anyway is just for males, but the ones that they discovered uh, last month, uh, two. Two, two weeks, weeks ago, yeah. it was both male and, and female. female. Yeah. So it doesn't actually make sense to me if it's some sort of uh, religious schooling or gathering. No, so what's going that. on there? Yeah. Sexual abuses. They take advantage. We should be talking about these things anyway. <laughs> we should, really. we should 20, talk about 2019. Well, okay. So we'll just quickly look at the back page of uh, the Nation newspaper. What will APC do about Kogi's dodgy impeachment? Please find out what that is about uh, by Festus Eri. Uh, we'll go to the nation, uh, this day newspaper, please, in the interest of time. And it says, foreign investments in equity markets soar to 1.2 trillion naira. Domestic interest fall to 1.18 trillion naira. That's on the front page, but it's continued on page 8. as already displayed on your screen there. No going back on IPPIS, uh, federal government tells ASU. That's on yeah, page 8. Okay, we'll come, <laughs> we'll talk about it. Now, why Kogi panel cleared former deputy governor of gross misconduct? Uh, state assembly fails to call relevant witnesses, present documents, could not substantiate four charges, abandoned two pleadings, breaches uh, constitution despite, despite these findings. That's on the front page, and then it's continued on page five, as you can see there. Five injured as uh, South Africans resume attacks on Niger. Do we say resume attacks? Well, uh, <laughs> that's on the front page. That story is on the front. It shouldn't be like it's some academic session where they go on break and then, and then they, they resume. <laughs> okay, so, well, we've talked about that story. And I like to correct general election mistakes with Bielsa Kogi polls. Uh, that's on page five. So let's go to this, this story that you both said that's very good. Uh, no going back. On IPPIS, yeah. um, it's putting everybody on the system. Um, what that does is it helps to weed out ghost workers. Mm -hmm. And there are tons and tons of them in the system. Uh, when this was initially launched, there were some special uh, um, MDAs that said, no, 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 you can't bring that here. Mm. For example, the security uh, apparatus and all the rest. And I'm sure a few other agencies mm -hmm. uh, also did not come on this. When you don't come on this, how do we fish out those ghost workers? If sure. you see the quantum of money that was saved by those uh, uh, places where we took this thing to, you will want it all over Nigeria. In fact, I don't know why the states are because not adopting this. The civil service, oh, this we cannot pay 30,000. Who will pay 30,000 if you I'm run a PPI? If you put everybody on the system, you'll be surprised that 30% of your state staff are ghosts. They don't and exist. And they get money every other And they get the money. So if we're able to weed those people out, we probably can pay. Hmm. But you know, the, the ASU uh, boss was saying yesterday that um, they had given a template, but the federal government refused, and that this one that the federal government is giving is exploitative because most of them can't get their allowances, they can't get promotion and all of that. Is that justified? But I thought they have finally come to an agreement mm. with, uh, with the federal government, and the next problem they're going to have is with the states. Because, because there will be... There will be issues. There will be issues. There are states that are owing at 18,000. Up to now, as we speak, some states are owing salaries at 18,000 minimum wage. Many so you, are, you have to Nigeria. ask what will happen yeah. uh, when the state now have to pay 30,000. What do you say? Well, I said yes because, you know, <laughs> I'm an advocate of revamping our civil service. Overhauling, that's your yeah, word. Yes. <laughs> if, this is the, yeah, if this is the way to start it, Let's do it. Mm. Because now we can, like he said, we can fish out ghost workers. Yesterday we were talking about ASU and mm. then the corruption that goes on even in our university system. Mm. All the allowances, all the uh, finance they get for projects and all that, that nobody accounts for. So if this, is, this is, a, is the right way to go. We've said it, we must be a process system. We mm. can't just be uh, Bubuero, like he said. Mm -hmm. about, and then we are rotting underneath. Hmm. 
All right. Do you want to say something about the Kogi? Uh, uh, well, left for me. Let's see how the court deal with this. Uh, I think it got in so politically rotten. Mm -hmm. And I don't think politics... I love the choice of words. Yeah. So, but the court is always there. It should be the last arbiter. Uh, on, on matters like this. Let's see, let's see the judiciary rise up to this occasion. I mean, I was, I was asking him, that. look, what happens? Because now it's going to be a ticket of uh, Onoja and Yahaya. Yeah. Yeah. What happens if the courts eventually find the removal of uh, the Simon. deputy governor mm -hmm. illegal? How would that play out in, in that uh, choice of deputy governor? Mm -hmm. We don't know. But the judiciary because should Because they have just a few days anyways. Yeah. Okay. All right, uh, we'll go to the back of this day newspaper. Uh, just to read out to you the column there, Homegrown Economics, the Asian Example, and that's by Sam Amadi. Please grab a copy of this day newspaper and find out what that's about as we go quickly to the Vanguard. The Vanguard seems to have so many here. Okay, let's start. Uh, when false publications may amount to criminal libel, that's an affair for Vanguard. That's on page 40. Pension fraud. Uh, court orders temporary seizure of Maynard's 23 assets in five states. Uh, FCT. That's on page 8. Anti-terror war. 100 billion naira army budget too small, according to NAS on page 8. And the Zionist ally Kola Aluko temporarily forfeits properties to federal government. And that's on page 12. Nigerians expect rise in inflation rate in the fourth quarter, according to CBN survey. And that story, you can find it on page 19. And then uh, state of Lagos roads, terrible. We all agree. That's according to Jaconde. It uh, says LASG must do something about it. Hold MPA, LASG, others responsible for a papa gridlock, according to Nupeng. Traffic robbers, miscreants take over as task uh, team fails. That's unfortunate. Now, anti-open grazing bill uh, not to witch hunt Fulani, uh, Fulani headsmen, according to Oyo Assembly. That's on page 11. And then there's a picture story of a book launch here. Now, NAS to deregister 85 political parties. Gaia says so on page 10. Uh, okay, you tell us what you think so. And then uh, telcos, of course, we talked about it already. Uh, the demands for USSD uh, charge stoppage insist banks instructed the charges. That's on page 49, please. And then we deserve living, not minimum wage. NLC comes up with that on page 34. ICPC declares ex-presidential aid Obono Obla wanted. That uh, story is on page 7. And Nigeria won't meet UN's SDG 2030 target on health unless... Please find out what the unless is on page 9. That's according to Soludo. Mm. Of course, if things don't change dramatically, mm -hmm. it's not just health that we will not meet. We won't meet any. 2030. Yes. I tend yeah. to think it's such a long time. It looks like it's such a long time. But we have seen those years. number of years creeping on us in the past. This is yeah. not the first time. Yeah. The way we always thought that 2020 was so far. far yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it's not about the distance. Mm. If we don't change the pattern of certain things, um, we, we won't get there. That's that's the reality. Mm -hmm. you know? uh, All right. Jack on the, well, the state of the roads. We just finished talking about it. So yes, it's, it's, it's a national trouble now. It's, it's, it's horrible. Mm. Yeah. Uh, okay, so now to you want to talk about the budget or you want? It's, a, it's actually time. Okay, uh, but then so is everything. It's not just the military budget that is small. No, yeah. Education budget. But there's is no small. money. Healthcare is small because it's, the entire money. cake itself mm. is small. So this uh, national cake, the proverbial <laughs> national cake, is about to finish. Is we that need, what, we yeah, need to, to rebate to <laughs> the revenue. Okay, that's it. That's the real thing. All right. Uh, NAS to deregister uh, 85 political parties. Femi, I heard when you say yes. And yeah, that's correct. Because, Why did you say so? Yeah, because we have, uh, I think in the last election, we have about 92, 92. political parties. 92. 92. For me, it was a waste of time and space. And then Some the ballot. Some of them would even recall their Yeah, names. and then the ballot sheet was that long. Some of them couldn't even win and in the, the local booklet. government. They were not even represented in the world. So what's, what's the force? For me, I've been an advocate of either two or three political parties. Mm -hmm. So if NAS, I don't know whether it's within their power or within the jurisdiction of their responsibility to deregister to them. Deregister them, because I feel is that I need they can deregister them mm -hmm. by giving them uh, stringent measures, okay. measures to meet. Yeah. So your thoughts? True. Not. I'm not sure that NAS has the power to deregister parties, mm -hmm. but NAS has the power to make laws. Um, so whatever laws that 
they can help to put in place that will ensure that this happens. They can do it. If it's an amendment to a section of the Electoral Act yeah. to make it stronger and without those people, then they should go ahead and do that. But mm. they cannot on their own deregister political parties. Okay, but well, it will be a good attempt if that happens. Anyways, it's on this, uh, uh, we're going to wrap here, but this Complete Sports, please grab a copy of the Complete Sports. And I want to say thank you, uh, and Dr. Femi for coming to help make sense of this. And this is where we'll call this a wrap on this program of the press. Uh, we'll do this, we'll continue this tomorrow, same time, 8.30 a.m. here on Plus TV Africa. And I am Amaka Okoye saying have a good day.